It is always an amazing day when Fox News gets called out for their hypocrisy, their contradictions, and their lies. It always makes my day 10 times better. I love seeing stuff like that. So I'm hoping this upcoming clip I'm about to show you has the exact same effect on you. Last night, CNN host Abby Phillip called out Fox News for their hypocrisy, but specifically, Sean Hannity. There's been a lot of news recently about reproductive rights for women uh, around the country, you know, with Arizona allowing their 1864 abortion ban to go into effect. Other Republican states have done the exact same thing. And it is starting to set in for Republicans that this is a big loser for them. This is a problem for them. They lose every single election when abortion is on the ballot. So what Abby Phillip did was play clips of Sean Hannity celebrating Roe v. Wade getting overturned in 2022 versus clips of Sean Hannity today panicking about the Arizona Supreme Court decision saying, please don't blame it on Donald Trump. It's no big deal. It's not his fault. And the contrast and the difference is just hilarious. So I'm going to show you that clip in a second. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe down below. It goes such a long way. I really appreciate it. But now here is that Abby Phillip clip. And when it comes to right wing media, second verse, same as the first. There's nothing extreme about individual states regulating abortion. Supreme Court ruling was a momentous decision that returns abortion law back to the states where it belongs to individual voters. You will now decide abortion, abortion law at the state level per the 10th Amendment of our Constitution. He rightly believes, if you believe in the Constitution, that it should be left up to the states and for the people in every state to decide. That is called, oh, democracy. That is called uh, states' rights, for example. What about now? Fast forward. Now for an Arizona Supreme Court ruling that upholds what is a Civil War era law banning abortion. This will be fixed in the next week or two. Let not your heart be troubled. I can, I can pretty much assure that that will happen. Trump opposes the law and this ruling. Yeah, ugh, yikes. Cringeworthy, isn't it? You can really hear the panic in Sean Hannity's voice. He's saying, oh, no, no, it's, it's a Civil War era law. Don't worry, it's going to be solved. Please don't blame the Republicans for this. It's starting to set in. They're starting to understand and realize that women and people around the country are angry. And they're not going to give the Republicans a get-out-of-jail-free card on this one. They took rights away from millions of women across the country like that. Just like that. It's gone. And, you know, Sean Hannity and the Republicans are trying to say, no, 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 don't blame us. They're trying to gaslight the American people into saying that this is somehow magically a good thing. But it's not. And they realize that people aren't going to fall for that. And how bold, how bold for Sean Hannity to try to use the word democracy. <laughs> Fox News and the Republicans caring about democracy suddenly or uh, supporting democracy when their cult leader tried to overturn the election in 2020. God, aren't they just insane? Aren't they just the worst? But seriously, what happened, Sean? What happened? You know, he was promoting it being a state right in his, his little segment on Fox News. Oh, it's states. It's going back to the states. If you believe in the Constitution, it's a state issue. So give it back to them. Let the people decide in the individual states. Let's, you know, allow these Republicans and these, and these governors and these legislators around the country, let them regulate women's bodies. Okay. And then when that happens... When that happens, when Arizona's Supreme Court allows it to happen, they regulate women's bodies on a state level, then Sean Hannity has a problem with it. Then it's a bad thing. You made your bed, now lie in it, Sean. The same goes to Donald Trump and all the other Republicans that allowed Roe v. Wade to get, to get overturned. You don't get to have it both ways. <laughs> you don't get to celebrate it being a state issue, and then when it goes to the states, be like, oh, no, this is terrible. It was caused by you guys. You guys are the ones who did it. <laughs> you don't get to like uh, have it both ways. You don't get to play both sides. Sorry, Sean. The Republicans are getting blamed for this. You guys did it. It's on you. You own it. Just the hypocrisy when you look at it side by side is astounding. And the only reason that Sean Hannity is like saying, oh, it's going to get fixed really quickly is because, again, this would be a disaster for Donald Trump and the Republicans going into November if Arizona doesn't adjust it. And even if they do, even if there's a compromise on, you know, like a 15 week ban or whatever they managed to come up with, the people aren't going to forget that this was the reality for a decent amount of time in Arizona. But 
it's very likely that it actually doesn't get addressed. And that would be the worst case scenario for Republicans in the state of Arizona because it is a swing state come November. You know, they, they don't want that issue to be top of the ballot for a lot of voters. But simultaneously, they made it the issue at the top of the ballot for so many voters. And I want to be clear here. It's not just Sean Hannity and the Fox News hosts who are like engaging in the most hypocritical positions possible. It's also like elected politicians on the Republican side or even people running for office. Donald Trump himself did the exact same thing that Sean Hannity did. He has you know, previously bragged about overturning Roe v. Wade, saying he's proud to have terminated it. Proud. That's the word he used. He called himself proud, saying nobody else got it done, but I did. He's, ba- you know, he's saying, everybody, look at me. Me, Donald Trump, I got Roe v. Wade overturned. I did it. Isn't it great? Aren't I amazing? Okay. But now, <laughs> when the Arizona Supreme Court allowed this law to go into effect, suddenly, suddenly, Donald Trump says that they went too far. Suddenly, they went too far. And said so he says it's going to get straightened out. It's going to get fixed. You know, this wouldn't even be a problem <laughs> if Roe v. Wade wasn't overturned. This wouldn't even be a problem. So, oh, okay, so wait, Donald Trump is proud of terminating Roe v. Wade, and then when his consequences for his actions are not so great for his campaign, he's like, oh, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. They went too far. They'll fix it. You can't have it both ways. I said it for Sean. I'm going to say it for Trump. You can't have it both ways, guys. Pick a side here. Pick a side. You can't be hypocrites. Can't be hypocrites, guys. And, you know, we talked about this on my channel recently, but Carrie Lake, the Republican nominee for Senate, in Arizona did the exact same thing. They're, all these Republicans are falling into this exact same trap as if we don't have their previous comments on record. Carrie Lake, at one point when she was running for governor, endorsed, yeah, literally, this specific law in Arizona. She said she supported it, the 1864 law. She called it a great law. <laughs> a great law. And now, in 2024, when she's running for Senate in the great state of Arizona, suddenly, magically, She denounces it. She's against it. Isn't that flip-flop a a remarkable thing? Isn't that peculiar? How in an election year, suddenly, this thing that they previously previously endorsed is now bad. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you know, we've talked about this before. I'm going to keep saying it until November. The Republicans are gaslighting the American people into uh, try to get them to vote for them. That's the entire tactic. It's not running on good policy. It's not adjusting their positions accordingly. It's not trying to make people's lives better. It's like, you know, they're, they're uh, playing a game right now. See how many people they can lie to to get them to vote for them and get them on their side. But yeah, just on that Sean Hannity clip, last thing, as I mentioned, the panic in his voice really tells it all. You know, all of these Republicans around the country kind of know that this is the end of the road for Donald Trump. It's the end of the road, right? Uh, he needs suburban women on his side to possibly win an election. They're not on his side. Majority of women around the country, overwhelming majority, are pro-choice in either either all instances or some. Um, And he took that right away from them in many of these Republican states, many of these swing states, as we just saw with Arizona. And it is worth remembering that every single time, every single time that abortion has been on the ballot post Roe v. Wade being overturned in 2022, the Republicans have lost. Every single time, whether it be the midterms in 2022, elections in 2023, individual states voting on constitutional amendments like Ohio, which is a traditionally Republican state, having abortion rights enshrined in their constitution now. Every single time the Republicans lose. And that's why they're panicking. That's why Sean Hannity is doing cleanup, damage control for Donald Trump, trying to convince people that somehow he has no connection to this and that it's okay and that the legislator will take care of it even though the Republicans in Arizona are doubling down, they're a fan of the law. This is what Fox News and the Republicans are doing, folks. Keep an eye out for it, you know? So anyway, I just loved that clip. The contrast is fantastic. Wanted to bring it to your attention. I hope you enjoyed. So uh, that's going to wrap up the video for now. Make sure to subscribe down below. It goes such a long way. Of course, drop a like on the video, comment, let me know what you think. Share the video with anybody you think needs to see it. And uh, as always, I greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.